We've been working on getting our camper ready for summer. That didn't work. This week, we're finishing up the inside, but focusing on cleaning the outside, resealing the roof, and installing a new safety feature. We have a big weekend ahead of us in getting the camper ready to go to go back on the road. Step one, we're gonna address the roof. We need to take the AC cover off, see what's going on under there. We think that's where the stink bugs are coming in from. Then we need to clean off the whole roof and the whole exterior of the camper because we need to reseal the roof. But in order to reseal, you need to make sure it's clean first. So that's the goal for today. Wish us luck. All right, will you hold this? It's fine. Okay, looks pretty good up here. We did um, seal the roof just last spring. I think we did a fair job, but we're gonna do it again just because why the heck not, you know, if that's what you're supposed to do. My only concern is now that we have, I didn't even think about this, now that we have our solar panels on the roof, I don't really wanna take them off. So I don't know what we're gonna do there. pretty good honestly it feels like more sturdy up here than I remember too so we're just using a bucket of really gentle dish soap mostly water I'm gonna scrub all this the goal again for today is just to get it clean and dry and then come in with the paint the ceiling paint tomorrow and this is the exact same method that I used the first time that we cleaned it oh will you take these screws too yeah, I, don't know. I need to turn this off Turn all of what off? Oh yes, please do. Yeah, we should turn Rookie mistake. <laughs> Just realized I'm up here with the solar panels and like all of our electric is on right now. Don't do that, turn everything off. So I'm doing the dish soap and then I'm going in with just a clean, just wet rag after to wipe it all off. Your goal is um, working on using a magic eraser to get some of like the tree branch marks off the side. If you've been watching our channel, you may recall there have been a handful of times where we've scraped the side of the camper. We have some scratches. Is it working? Kinda. It's getting pretty sudsy, so I think I'm just gonna bring the hose up here to get some of this soap off. It's also very hot. Summer is absolutely here in Minnesota. It's like 80 some degrees today. It's here. The AC isn't covered, so I need to be careful. We do also need to wash the outside of the camper. We might just, just take that to like a place where you can pull in semis and just like wash the side of it. I just don't know if I trust my crappy little paint job in one of those. Well, we're not going to be able to like get the pressure washer close to it, but we can stand a few feet away and just like lightly get it wet and then scrub it down. So you don't think we should do that right now? I feel like we should take our hose at least and get close to it. And try okay. to do that. I don't know if you can see this on this little camera but right here something sticky got on the side and it like pulled off the paint it's very sad yeah
Morning. Time to seal the roof. It's very thick. Gloves are on, the bucket is open. Yeah. All right, coat one is done. Now we wait two to four hours. So we took the afternoon off, came back, did a second coat on the roof. It's looking good. And now we're gonna install something new on the inside of the camper. If you follow me over on TikTok, you've probably already heard me talk about this or if you've seen any of our YouTube shorts, but we're gonna be installing this Waggle pet monitor. We're excited to be partnering with Waggle to help keep our dogs, Luna and Lady, safe on the road. Heat stroke in dogs is a real issue and Waggle helps prevent those situations. Waggle has a bunch of safety features, including temperature alerts that let you know if the temp in your rig rises or drops below a certain level. Check out the link and code in the description for up to 50% off your Waggle pet monitor. So Cole came up with a good idea for where we should put it. We have this random outlet like up in the corner here and it's just kind of always been an outlet that like we don't know what to do with it. So we thought that would be a really good place to put this. Um, it, you can mount it, obviously. So I think we're gonna mount it there and that way we can have it plugged in. My big thing is even when we're staying in an RV park or somewhere with full hookups and we're running our AC, when we leave, I always get paranoid that something's gonna happen with the power in the RV park. Our AC is gonna blow, something's gonna happen and they're gonna be stuck in here with no windows open and it's gonna be like 90 degrees. So now we'll know if that's happening and I won't have to worry about it. Change of plans. I know I said that was the perfect spot, but we have another random outlet over here by this shelf. And that way it would be like a little more hidden. So you're not walking in and seeing this giant cord hang down. Or we don't even have to mount it. We can honestly just like rest it, don't you think? Yeah. Maybe we just do that. Can we like just... mount it. You think so? Just so it's not flying off when we're driving. What if we put it like underneath? No, because then we can't see the screen. I guess I'll mount it just like right here behind this bottle. This was from our anniversary, our first anniversary. Like right here, you think? Nope. Wow. Okay, so we're just going to peel this off. Plop that right on there. Love it. Cute. Also, what's cool about this is you don't need Wi-Fi for it. Um, there we go. 79 degrees in here right now. And we were just like 10 miles away for lunch today. And I checked the app while we were there. So we were far away. And it showed me the temperature from inside of our house, not from inside of here. <sighs> Another update on the uh, stink bugs. I think they're gone. Oh, never mind. Cole saw one a second ago. Compared to two weeks ago, every time oh, yeah. every time we came in here, there were like ten of them. At least ten of them crawling all over the ceiling. And um, ever since we came in here earlier and cleared out the ones, all the dead ones. I don't know can't take the heat I guess we have a couple more projects that we need to take care of in here this weekend are we done for the day what other projects this all right I think we're done for the day it's a hot one we're back to finish up our weekend projects in here and it's 85 degrees outside which means it's 85 plus in the camper we were just gone this morning and kept getting alerts from the waggle saying like alert Luna, which is our dog, 86.5 degrees. So we know it works and we were like 20 miles away. Yay. Oh, look who's back. Get out of here. So on the docket, we need to re-secure our wood panels back here. Shockingly, none of these actually fell down while we were on the road all last year, which was a surprise to me. These are just tongue and groove cedar planks that we stained and we used a nail gun. I think we have three across, which they're loose in a lot of places. So we're just gonna go in and re-secure them. And then we need to get our fridge running again. If you remember, we had the mold situation. It's totally fine now. Nothing has grown back, yay. And we need to get 
um, like all the drawers and shelves and everything put back in the refrigerator. So yeah, lots to do. <laughs> mm. That didn't work. Our nail gun kind of sucks. It just doesn't have a lot of power. So back here we're gonna do the old fashioned way. This is not working. Yeah. All right. Well, we need to put some more in then. One down, like 20 to go. I don't know why, why was it so difficult? Yeah. It was weird. That one went way better. We ended up just doing a few. Everything else feels pretty secure. Like these ones in the middle might need it but we're just gonna leave it for now something that we should have done when we installed these was put some type of adhesive on the boards when we put them in we didn't do that we also have them on the back wall and we didn't put any adhesive over there and those have held up totally fine but these are at an angle this wall is sloped so that probably is why they don't hold quite as well right Moving on to getting the fridge put back together. Of course, there's a stink bug in here. This one goes on top. A little shelf? Yeah. That is not this. We're having an extremely hard time trying to figure out how to put our refrigerator back together. So take a picture of your RV refrigerator before you take it apart to clean it. I don't remember having this difficult of a time the last time I did it. We had it set up in a very specific way where we could fit like our water pitcher with the filter and it is very strategic. So that's why we're like, okay, what do we do? Do you think this needs to move down a row? I think this one right here goes here. I think you're right. We're getting there. Yay! Oh, is it in? I don't think so. Oh dear. It's not? I think it kind of is. This is just, this one doesn't fit over here. Oh brother. Well, that's not going to work. What the heck do we do? I need to turn off the camera. All right. It wasn't pretty, but she's put back together. Mold free. Um, we're not going to turn the refrigerator back on right now because we still have a little bit of time before we're gonna be traveling and um, we don't just want to waste propane. But we are putting the cushions back in. Look at that. There's one thing that I forgot I wanted to do. My feet are so dirty I feel bad walking on this bed. You can see up here this paint is peeling so this was just like the vinyl I don't know the vinyl that all like cabinetry it seems like in RVs are made out of and we painted over it and we did scuff it up and prime it before painting but it's still peeling in some places where the vinyl is peeling it's not the actual paint it's the vinyl so like maybe it's not vinyl I don't know like the I don't know it's just like paper like wood looking paper that's covering the cabinets so I'm going to cut it off sand it and get some touch up paint to redo it. See all this is peeling and it's really loose like all the way across. So I'm going to try to just cut it all the way across and just paint this whole under part. Do you see how easily that's coming off? All right. So that all came off really well. I'm just going to go in now. This is uh, 120 grit sandpaper. Obviously you can see it's made for an actual sander, but I'm just going to do it by hand. And then I have a less coarse sanding sponge here that I'm just going to go over this with and smooth it out. A 
I think that does it for this video. I think this is a good place to call it quits, at least for a couple days. I feel like all things considered, the camper is starting to look pretty good. There are still a few last minute things that we need to address. Need to get some touch up paint to go on the walls and the cabinets, just some little things here and there. Oh, our fan still isn't fixed. So we're working on that. Things feel like livable again, and that is an encouraging sign. So seeing it this way gets me excited to go back on the road and I'm excited to share it with all of you as well. So don't forget to drop a comment down below, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.